capturing a moment in time. There you go. That's great. Is what Lou Bope does for a living. I mean, just like every kid, I liked photography. But I was always kind of intimidated to take photography in school. But the turning point was uh, I did a semester in London, and that's when I that's when I thought, you know what? This is this is. Here's the world. He went everywhere with his camera, and in a world where timing is everything, Lou timed it right. The Berlin Wall happened to come down, and so immediately I went over to Berlin and took some pictures, and I sold one or two of them. Back in his hometown of St. Louis, a local publication wanted his Berlin Wall story. He was excited to be published locally until he saw the caption. I didn't know who the woman was, I didn't know who the border guard was, but in the caption it said, um, um, Lou Bope's girlfriend. <laughs> and then, you know, here's this 80 year old and I'm in my 20s. <laughs> the collapse of the Berlin Wall has opened a door for Lou and he hasn't looked back. So when I came back here, I started to freelance a little bit. So I did, I, I was a, um, a stringer for AP. Come up a little bit now. A paid internship with Sports Illustrated took him to New York City a city where he'd soon start racking up clients. Sports Illustrated, People Magazine, Money Magazine, uh, Vanity Fair. It's quite a few billboards, um, buses wrapped with images from the New York Marathon. I shoot the New York Marathon every year. He's been given access to people and places to create unbelievable moments in time. Like I'm one of the few people that have ever been up on the very tip top of the Empire State Building with a guy that changes the light bulb. Lou has mastered the art of capturing the human spirit. I've been on a number of trips with Dan Rather and General Schwarzkopf. A career started by one photo of the Berlin Wall, but that photo, turns out, may not be his most famous. My most famous picture is this big. A picture available to everyone, courtesy of the U.S. Mail. So the musician is Jimmy Duck Holmes, who's a, a very notable mu musician. Pictures telling a story of one man's journey. If, if it ended tomorrow, that would be good. Randy Schwenker, five on your side.